Hello, in the video coming up, I'm gonna show you the new GIF feature that you have with Chrome OS 100. So I'm sure you've all been waiting for Chrome OS 100 to be released. Something that's quite strange because it's been reported on many different blogs and I was on the understanding as well that it was also going to be released with Chrome OS 100 was the new Chrome OS app launcher. Now if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll see that I used the app launcher with a flag but with Chrome OS 100 update, that should have become a standard. So I updated it. I couldn't get 100 to update on my Chromebox. It's still using 99, but on my laptop, on my Chromebook, it is using Chrome OS 100. So let's quickly show you on here. Show you on here on the settings. So if we go to settings, and go to advanced, just increase that, sorry, about Chrome 100. As you can see there, we're using version 100, but the launcher menu is still the old menu here, which I really struggle with. On my Chrome box, I've got the flag set so I can use the new launcher menu. So if you were waiting for the new Chromebook launcher menu with Chrome OS 100, doesn't look like you're going to get it. At least I haven't got it with my Chromebook. I, I, I can't imagine some Chromebooks would get it and some wouldn't. I'm sure they've just decided not to release it on Chrome OS 100. So if you do want to use that, I will link to the video below, which will show you how you can do that with a flag and it's really easy to, you, to do. So in this video, what I'm going to show you is the new GIF feature and it's really cool. I've used it today. I did a GIF with my dog and it's really good because once you've done the GIF, you can save it and then you could upload it to Facebook, for example, which is what I did. And it's just a five second GIF. It's, it's a bit of fun, but it's nice that you've got that option now with your Chromebook. So you just go to your camera as normal. So there's my camera there. Or if you can't find it, just find it within your menu here. This is the old menu I'm using here. If you're using the new menu, you should be able to quickly find it. And then just open up your camera like that. And there's that's using my webcam on my um, Chromebook. It's not too bad, the webcam on this Chromebook, compared to another Chromebook I've got. Okay, so as you can see down here, that's a GIF I've done a little previously. Um, so it's pretty easy to do. If you go to video and there you'll see you've got normal and you've got GIF, just press GIF and press record. Now when you press record, you've got five seconds to then do the GIF that you want. So maybe get yourself in a position you want to be in or whatever you want to do, but you've got five seconds. So for example, if I went from here, that's quite a long time to do your GIF. You can do or silly things, whatever you want to do, and that's done. And then if we save that, if you share it, there's a few options such as nearby share. So you could then send it to another device that you've got. You don't have an option in here to share directly with Facebook or anything like that. Um, but you do, you can just save it and then upload it to Facebook if you want. And then once you've saved that, what that will do, that will then store it in your if you go to files, it's not in your downloads, it's in your camera there, and then open it up. As you'll see when I open it up, it's not huge dimension wise, as you can see there, which is fine because GIFs are supposed to be quite small in file size. So if it was using your full HD, it would be much bigger. But as you can see, that's the GIF there. And you can do lots of different ones. I did one with my dog, for example, which is quite cool, just there. <laughs> <laughs> which is nice and what I did then the good thing is with these little gifts you can then personalize your browser for example so I opened up my browser and I put it on there which is nice to see every morning my dog's getting much older now so it, you know I'm getting to that stage where I'm worrying about him leaving this world which is not a nice feeling at all um, so obviously things like this in the future is something I'd always want to have 
on my desktop when that ever does happen. I hope it never does anytime soon, but it will do obviously. But it's good for the fact that you can put your little, you know, if you've got your family or you've got pets, you can do a little GIF and you can put it on your browser as well, which is really nice. Now, if you want to know how to put it on your browser, what you would simply do is open your browser like that as normal. Just click on customize down here and you would just click on upload from device and you choose camera and then you choose that GIF. So that GIF I've just showed you, for example, is that first one there. Just click on open. And there you go, you've got the GIF. As you can see, the quality isn't fantastic. And like I said, the reason for that is because it's, it's a small resolution camera size. But if it was the full HD, it would take up much, much more space. And you want your browser to open up without having a massive GIF behind it, perhaps. So I do sometimes use a massive GIF, if, depending on what mood I'm in. But if you want it and you you know you don't want to take up too much resource, then a small GIF is much better. But it's a bit of fun. It's it's a good little nifty feature. I really like it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.